how much of the nightmare stuff are we going to get in Zack Snyder's Justice League? So I'm going to break it down real easy for you guys so you understand where I'm coming from and what my speculation on how, uh, how much... Uh, how much of footage we're going to get from the nightmare so let's start it off so in the batman v superman dawn of justice we got about a total of three to four minutes of in the middle of the film nightmare we have nightmare batman nightmare superman and we see like a cool battle of batman with um all the superman soldiers and parademons right so that sequence was about four to five minutes so in justice league what do we think that we're gonna get so we know zach reshot footage and he said don't expect a lot probably you know he's trying to hint towards like probably at most five minutes of new footage he shot and we know 99.9 percent .9 of the footage he shot was for the nightmare sequence stuff okay so say we got about five minutes already that we is i guess you would say confirmed by zach that we got you got to remember that's not all that we were seeing we were getting more in fucking back in 2016 when zach was filming his justice league he filmed scenes for the nightmare um the nightmare world right we know there's scenes with him uh, with cyborg um influenced by the mother box in the nightmare world he gets a vision also i guarantee there's some more scenes i have a feeling that there's going to be a couple scenes that we got with batman in the nightmare as well that we're going to see that were filmed in 2016 and not present and i think he's going to mix them up really good really good so overall how much of the how much of the footage do I think we're going to get for the Nightmare in Zack Snyder's Justice League? I'm going to say and go out on a limb anywhere from 7 to 10 minutes total. I say half of it already is new footage and then the rest was filmed in 2016-ish, 17-ish, and it's all put together now. Now, the big question is, how are we going to get this? How are we going to get this? Is it going to be like right in the middle of the film like we got before in Batman vs. Superman? I don't know. There are some sequences I guarantee that he already made for the film that you can put right in the middle, and that's fine. Or whenever, like when um, Cyborg gets influenced by the Mother Box. But like the sequence that we already got in the trailer with Joker and Batman, that's not something you could just throw in the middle unless there's substance there. Like if there's like a exchange of dialogue with Batman and Joker in present day, which I don't know if there would be. We don't know yet. So overall, what do I think? I think that we're going to get a lot of this towards the end. It's going to be like maybe finally an after credits style from Zach. Maybe. Or we might just get it dropped in the fucking middle, which I don't care. We're gonna, I'm so happy to finally see Batman and Joker in their nightmare style on screen together. I think that's going to be a really incredible um, look. And then we know Deathstroke's there too with Flash and Mera and a Cyborg. So... We got all of them together. It's going to be in that sequence. And she, because I know Amber Heard. Um, yeah, you know what I mean by that. Uh, she came back for reshoots in, I think it was May or June or July. One of those fucking months. With Ben and Jared and Ray and um, Ezra. Now, Henry Cavill is unknown if he came back for reshoots. Because we don't know. I would imagine he would, but he, but he, he apparently confirmed that he was not back for reshoots. I don't know. I'm excited to see a lot of the, like a lot of the nightmare. I just want to see this film. That's it. And I know it's going to be better than that fucking piece of shit up there. But guys, let me know your thoughts below. How much do you think we're going to get to see of the nightmare scenario? Do you think it's going to be five to 10 minutes? Like I think, or you think it's going to be a lot less or a lot more? What do you know? What do you think? I, the thing I'm nervous about is He's throwing everything at the fucking, like, he's throwing darts right at the wall with these nightmare scenarios because he doesn't give a fuck. I am concerned, and not really concerned, but I'm questioning. I wonder if when Bruce is talking to, uh, you know what? I'll save that for another video. I'm going to save that for another video. I'm not even going to talk about it. But guys, let me know your thoughts below, though. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.